morning, judges. We're the entrepreneurship team from Homestead High School in Cupertino, California. My name is Alyssa Saw. My name is Braden Holstead. And my name is Jasmine Stoy. Today, we present a case about JLD Incorporated and J Jack Hudson, an entrepreneur who offers land, lawn landscaping and design services. His business has been growing consecutively for 10 years, but since 2008, his business has been decreasing. With no new construction projects and cash flow problems, Jake has approached us to help him make new changes to keep JLD Incorporated going until the economy recovers. First, I'll be discussing management, next Jazz will be discussing finance, and Braden will conclude with new marketing ideas. The first step that Jake needs to do is to conduct a key internal analysis, including financial documents such as cash flow statement, the balance sheet, and, in and income statement, as well as an operations plan to see how to cut costs and to keep his business rolling. His current human resources plan is he has three full-time designers and 15 crew members. Most of them have been with him since the beginning and has helped him grow his business. What he needs to do is identify which job positions are less a priority and keep this in mind in his decision. We recommend that he avoid layoffs if possible. And there are several options that we have brainstormed for him. The first is to perhaps move some employees, such as the crew members, as contractors on a rolling basis so that they can work for him when he does have new projects for him. Advantage of this is that because he has less work, he does not need their help as much help at the moment. We can still keep them as employees. Another option that we recommend is he can talk with his employees and offer them a vote on whether or not they believe, on whether or not they'd be willing to take pay cuts as a group or whether they would prefer layoffs. There, one, one con of this is that because he's offering his employees a vote, he will need to abide by their decision, but this offers several advantages. It gives the employees transparency, it builds loyalty and morale, and also empowers employees to make a decision. In the case that the, the vote is for the pay cut, we recommend that he take a pay cut himself as well as their boss. This was used by General Motors in 2008 and was very effective. And now I'd like to pass it on to Jasmine who will discuss finance. There are three major financial steps that Jake needs to take in order to ensure full recovery for his business. First, he needs to obtain operating capital. He currently owns $300,000 worth of equipment, and we, we suggest that he consider leasing this equipment to other companies to obtain more cash flow. In the event he is struggling to obtain the higher cash flow, the worst case is that he sells his equipment completely to other companies. The major disadvantage to this is that he will have to work to repurchase these equi this equipment if his business recovers fully. However, the benefit to this is that it's better to have a business with, with, without equipment excuse me, than no business with equipment. The second major point is that he should seek to a bank loan. Jake is a good candidate to obtain a loan because he has inventory he can use for collateral. We suggest that he receives a revolving line of credit from the bank. The disadvantage to this is that he may have to pay a higher rate to get this loan. However, the, the advantage to this is that in the event he doesn't require the loan for the maximum amount of time, he always has the option of not getting the full amount of money in the loan. The final financial step we suggest is that he minimizes the two full employees he currently uses for bookkeeping to only one part-time employee. He needs to practice bootstrapping of his business because he is currently going through some financial problems. As such, we recommend that, he, um, that the two full-time employees is unnecessary and that he should use the methods to minimize the human resources, as Alyssa mentioned earlier in her management section. He should work with um, his current bookkeeper that he decides to keep to draft new financial documents, which would include the income sheet, cash flow statement, and balance sheet. Brandon will now discuss new marketing ideas that Jake can use for his business. The most important step for him to take is to analyze the market and realize the current situations make it impossible for him to compete effectively. The poor situation in the economy, combined with the fact that there are other competitors in his market, means it's very difficult for him to differentiate himself and obtain business and we have several recommendations he should take to solve this problem. The first is to recognize the presence of the industrial and light commercial industry within his area and use this as another possible market, renovating commercial buildings in addition to home buildings as another source of revenue that may not be addressed in the community. It's also important for him to maintain his marketing spending during the recession. One of the mistakes businesses often make is to cut their marketing spending during tough economic times. However, there are examples of this not being effective. 
For example, during the Great Depression, the Kellogg Company maintained its marketing spending and even increased it. And while this was tough for them initially, when they emerged from that depression, they were the largest cereal company in the country as a result of that spending. You should also pitch this marketing idea to others, specifically landscaping, as a way of increasing business. Going to a commercial entity and telling them that new construction and landscaping makes them appear healthy to cons customers is a powerful way of increasing their sales and, in the same way, increasing his own, since he'd be providing those landscaping and renovation services. One thing you should consider is doing at-cost charitable work for charities or local governments. This has a number of advantages in that it, A, allows his crews to remain experienced, and B, increases his image in the community to give him a differentiating factor from other businesses he may be competing against. One other thing he should consider in order to increase his revenue stream is the use of online design. Since designers do not have to be physically present at a location to do the design or can be easily flown to a location, he could outsource his designing over the internet to other companies so that he can maintain his revenue without having to take the expense of actually doing the construction, since this is higher margin. Although we recognize it as a con that setting up this online sales system is expensive, we feel that it is worth it for him to maintain his cash flow. In conclusion, we recommend that he first use fair management practices such as seen in General Motors to conduct either layoffs or pay cuts while maintaining a pay cut himself to maintain employee morale. He should use bank loans and financing methods to maintain the cash flow and gain revenue needed to keep his business afloat. And he should aggressively market to ensure that he can maintain the sales volume needed to remain healthy. Thank you, judges. We are now open for questions. If we had more time, we would have discussed the possibility for further expansion in other commercial areas in his community. There are many companies that need design, or even homes that do home construction that aren't necessarily in his community. And one of the advantages of design as a service is it's very easy to send a designer or send the consulting services out to another community, which is much higher margin than the construction since it's a pure service industry. So what we're talking about is sending out those industry, those industry experts to other companies to do design work to maintain cash flow. Contractors under our company temporarily, okay. and we would give them work as the as the projects, new projects come in. Yeah, okay. the idea would be a sort of agency model in which we're not paying them as full-time employees to keep down HR costs. We can bring them back in on a contract basis as needed if work comes in. Oh, I see. You contract your employees out That's correct. The objective is to maintain the experience for reducing the HR benefits that we need to pay out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.